Right, um, beginning of the day, this was all full of ivy. So uh, it's been ages, we've had all that rubbish out of it there. That was just all the ivy growing on there. And um, I was just going to paint it and then I've decided now, just for the, for the hell of it, and i got all the leftover uh, stuff left over. It's, for the, it's the silicon based render. And it looked really nice because it's got a colour render afterwards, so you don't have to really worry about painting it. But um, we spent ages scraping it, there's loads of loose paint and everything on there. And um, I'm just going to paint some PVA, mainly just to stabilise it a bit. I haven't got any stabiliser on it because we're in the middle of the lockdown at the moment, so uh, I can't really get hold of much stuff at the minute. So I'm just going to use this, well it's not PVA, it's SBR, which is stronger than PVA. So um, I'm just going to brush that on and then we're going to get the render on and uh, we'll have a look at it. Okay. Okay. Um, you might have seen in my previous videos, I've, uh, this is the stuff I'm using, it's this retro base and um, we've done the SBR and it's dried super quick in this warm weather. So it's quite late on in the evening but uh, we're going to attempt to uh, uh, get it on quickly now and uh, that's the reinforced mesh so we'll bed that in as well. And uh, I'm just going to have a go at whisking and I got my helper today, he's going to be helping me apply the render. So uh, here we go, we'll just get on with the whisking and uh, if you stand back Noah because it's a bit dusty. Okay. Right, um, just because I got it left over from a job I wasn't going to bother but I've got this um, edging strip so again guys this isn't a sort of textbook how you do it but I'm just going to stick that on with some, uh, normally I'd nail them on but I'm just going to use some render to stick that on with so I'm just going to slap it on it, any shape really. Quite a wettish mix, but that's sort of what we want really. And because this is like a textured sort of rock face block, this first coat is just really to fill in the, all the uneven bits of it really. And then, see see been lying about for so long, it's not even that straight. I'm just going to plonk that on there and uh, hopefully it will behave itself. There you go. That's basically it. So I'm, I'm not really taking much care, I'm just getting it into the deepest parts of the minute. There we go. So I'm just letting the trowel sort of ride on the bricks there. Okay. I'll get a bit more on it. So this is basically just filling in the the deep spots more than anything else. Finish the base coat and we're ready to cut up some there. Uh, <laughs> right. Right, um, I've just finished the base coat and uh, I've got this mesh here, we're going to cut that up and uh, bed it in the base coat and then uh, I'll get another coat on tomorrow. And um, we've just had a fantastic idea. I got a load of bricks over there in the corner, which I took from a, which I took a chimney down some time ago. And, uh, on the other side of this wall, I'm going to build a barbecue and just utilise this wall as the back wall of the barbecue. So um, I'll bed that mesh in, and uh, we'll have a quick look at that. Dab this uh, reinforced mesh in. I'm not being too fussy at the moment. I'm going to get another coat on here tomorrow anyway. So will help us level everything out and obviously much, a lot less chance of any cracks appearing in the future. So 
obviously when the next coat goes on we don't want to see any evidence of this render right uh, just getting the final coat on um, I mixed in a little bit of sand and cement with it just because I was running low on the other one that should be fine. It's just a garden wall at the end of the day so I'll wait for all that to go off. I'm just uh, filling in any uh, low bits at the moment and uh, we'll, uh, we'll get it all leveled up and uh, looking ship shape. So uh, join me in a sec when I just uh, finish this off, I can just see some low spots, so for example I'm just getting a bit in there for instance. I'm just going around looking for any low spots and then uh, just before I float it all up. I don't have to be that fussy, I might even put a straight edge on it in a minute. So uh, I'm pretty pleased with it because you've got to remember this was a rock faced breeze block wall so it needed uh, quite a lot of levelling out. It's taking shape now. Right, um, just floated it up and I'm just doing a final little uh, uh, sponge up here and uh, give it a couple of days and then we'll give it some paint. I'm not sure whether to, um, I've got some of the textured sort of paint. Uh, it's not paint, it's like a covering for um, that I use for insulation boards, uh, the textured one, you might have seen it in one of my other videos on the extension. So um, I may possibly do that or I might pay, just paint it, uh, and I'll have a little think about that. Right, yo, I'll just finish off uh, sponging this off. Right, um, so following day now, as you can see uh, the rendering's drying off nicely, so we'll give it a couple days before we uh, put the final finish on it, either paint it or that textured finish I mentioned earlier. So um, on the other side, this wall's now going to become the back wall of the barbecue basically. So I've just laid out here, these bricks here represent uh, the size of it. So it's a, well, they're two foot slab, so it's about uh, two foot six, uh, no, four foot six rather. There are length of it and uh, that's going to be the main cooking area and then there's going to be some shelves here so it'll all start to make sense as we build it up. So I'm basically just building three uh, dwarf walls the height of this. Wait, stop. And, uh, right, um, I think it got interrupted, I ran out of space on the memory card so just to uh, reiterate what I'm doing. Um, this is the size of the barbecue here so we got that's our cooking area and this is just some shelving and then we're going to have some shelves of things it will make sense as we go along so um yeah that's basically it so uh i'll get started on building that and uh, we'll follow the progress as we go right um i've just laid the first course uh so uh we got the spacings we want and uh just for those who are curious i'm just using an ordinary sort of four four and one mix uh four sand one cement and that's plenty strong enough for this to be honest so I'm, I'm going to go up a couple courses and then I'm going to drill in a couple ties into the wall and uh, just in case you're wondering why we're actually doing this um, is we're in the middle of lockdown so a lot of projects that uh, would normally be done are being done now so that's a lot of the reason it's getting done now so keeping myself out of trouble and keeping occupied so um, I'll get on there, we'll crack on with a few more courses and then we'll take a, another look. Hopefully you can just see it there, what I've done is I uh, screwed in some ties into the wall there just to, uh, they're not the proper ones but remember we're in lockdown so I'm just using what I've got. So uh, I'll probably only do one more of those a bit higher up and that should be adequate for what we're doing. So uh, I'll press on and uh, we're on the second course there, so we'll keep going. I just wanted to show you those uh, brackets I put in and I'm just using them to tie the little bits of wall to the other bit of wall there. 
Oh, I have to apologise. I've just sort of uh, gone a bit ahead, ahead of myself and forgotten to do any filming. But this is uh, basically the finished product. I had a big piece of uh, natural stone which I laid across the lot of it there. I had another piece which was sort of using as a back plate on the on the barbecue and then I've also made up this area here which is just we'll put some shelves in we've got these little metal brackets just here um, which fit in the shelves perfectly so uh, that's basically it and uh, doing the rendering now well we've done the rendering obviously so I'm just putting a primer on before the top coat of render goes on that textured render so we're just doing that and I've made a nice little sort of a flower bed on the front of there so uh, apologies for um, not uh, showing each stage I just sort of uh, cracked on with it and uh, forgot to do some filming to be honest but uh, we're just going to paint it all up now we've just made a start as you can see just make it pretty on not the brickwork because I really like that with the old bricks and uh, we'll have another quick look at it once it's all done then Press, is it? Okay. Uh, what am I doing now is just uh, applying the colour render. So um, rather than using a hawk, I find it just a lot simpler, it's quite runny. Just to use a bucket trowel, plonk a dollop in the middle there, and get it under the other. Simple as that. spots as we go along. Well, I'll do that one more time just so you can uh, get the gist of it. A little dollop in the middle and obviously we've already got the primer underneath which is just uh, a base coat there for the silicon render. And we're just doing it to the thickness of the trowel so get it on there. Scraping it off, and then the excess then is filling in the low spots. Then right up to the top. Thought it would be a good idea to paint the copings first, so if there's any little drips or anything, they'd get covered up now. So, right. Okay, we'll have a little look later on when I uh, float it up with a plastic trowel, which just brings the texture up a bit. Then, okay, we'll see. Right, um, we're all done, and apologies again for not showing you all the stages. I just, I get stuck into things and I, I forget to pick the camera up. But uh, here we go, let's have a close look. So I've put in all these little metal tabs in there. This is an old uh, grill just from an old barbecue, and that's an old oven tray which I'll use for the charcoals. And those trays are also from an old oven, so they're just additional shelving, and then you've got your worktop there. So uh, I think it'll do the business, and we're having such nice weather. Um, I might fire it up later on. And uh, you can see all the front is all done now as well. So I put a new bit of timber there at the bottom, so that will act as a... Uh, we'll just make a little flower bed in front of it, just to show it off. I've also painted the copings as well and all I'm just gonna have a little dig around see if I can find a picture of uh, before we started with all the ivy growing on it so it's a massive contrast to what it was like before so um, I hope uh, you enjoyed this little video and uh, please like and subscribe as usual and uh, we'll catch you soon on the next one